Hello everybody, Jack here, and this guide is for beginning players learning Vorkath. I'm going to get started by showing you the three most common ways that people die. After that, we'll look at the equipment you can use, and then we'll get into Vorkath's rotation. As you can see, Vorkath will splash poison everywhere. The poison is just a distraction. It's not what will actually kill you. The rapid dragonfire is what will kill you. So it's very important that you keep moving. As soon as you see him start this attack, start walking away. It's very important that you have a walk on and don't run because if you run, you're gonna get too far to your end tile and you can see in this clip just how fast you can die. Vorkath's second special attack will also one-shot you if you do not react fast enough. First, he will shoot you with what looks like a white dragonfire. This will freeze you in place. Then he will shoot a spawn that will come towards you and explode, killing you. To counter this, you'll have to switch to your Slayer Staff and cast Crumble Undead on the spawn as soon as it's there. One of Vorkath's regular attacks is a Mortar-style Dragonfire. He'll launch this up into the air and then it will land on the tile you were on when he started the attack. If this lands on you, you will die. It's very important that you avoid this attack. Let's take a look at basic equipment you can use to fight Vorkath. You do not need fancy equipment. And honestly, if you can spend more than 20 million on your gear, do you really need to be watching this video to see what best in slot item you need to use? I don't think so. I'm going to focus on those of you who are new to Vorkath and not yet comfortable or rich in RuneScape. You're going to be praying ranged, so you want as much magic defense as you can possibly get. You'll be fine in full carols with an anti-dragon shield. The really important things to have are ruby bolts and a salve amulet that has been enchanted and imbued in Nightmare Zone. If you don't have the enchanted salve amulet that's also imbued, you should spend the time to get it because it'll only take you two or three hours to do the Haunted Mind quest and do Nightmare Zone to get the 800,000 points you need to imbue it. This is really important because it's going to increase your accuracy and your damage by 20%. Most of the hard runs on Vorkath are when you keep missing over and over and over again, and you end up running out of food or prayer potions. As far as inventory goes, you'll need a Slayer Staff. You need to have plenty of runes to cast Crumble Undead. I say plenty because if you run out and you don't realize, you will die and lose 100,000 coins. You'll also need some lore runes for an emergency escape and to teleport to your house. Extended super anti-fires, anti-venom pluses. These run out after three minutes and you might not have killed him by then, so you'll often have to use this twice. A divine ranging potion. And then two prayer potions. The rest of your inventory can be filled with high healing food, such as shark. If you have the prayer level for it, then use rigor. But if you don't, don't worry. All you need is your best range prayer and protect from range prayer. Also, make sure to turn off your prayer when he starts his special attacks, which will start after six regular attacks every single time. Now let's break down Vorkath's rotation. He follows a very particular attack pattern. He will attack six times with his regular attacks, of which there are six possible kinds. After that, he will use one of his special attacks, of which there are two types. The following clips show you every attack and every special attack. We'll start with Mortar the one-shot attack mentioned earlier. 
You'll have walk enabled for this, so it's advisable to use control clicking to run. This will allow you to get out of the way of the mortar attack. The mortar attack lands, and if you're on the tile it lands on, you die. If you're next to the tile it lands on, you take half damage, and if you're two tiles away, you are safe. Vorkath's ranged attack is his most common attack, and this is why we pray ranged instead of magic. This can hit for up to 30, so keep your ranged prayer up to mitigate the damage from this. Vorkath's magic attack is the one that will do the most damage to you. It can hit for up to 30, so pay attention and make sure you eat if you get to around 40 health or less. The Venom Dragonfire attack will inflict Venom, a strong poison. This isn't something you need to worry about because it's prevented with an Anti-Venom Potion Plus. The Purple Dragonfire will disable your prayer. All you have to do is click on your Quick Prayer to activate it again. Make sure to do this fast so that you don't take damage from ranged. The last regular attack that Vorkath can use is his Dragonfire attack. This is completely prevented with three levels of Dragonfire protection. Two from your anti-Dragonfire potion and one from your shield. After six regular attacks, Vorkath will use one of his two special attacks. This is his freeze and spawn special attack. He will freeze you in place giving you time to equip your Slayer Staff, and then he will spawn a zombified spawn that will come towards you and kill you. As we mentioned earlier, counter this by using your Slayer Staff and casting Crumble Undead. The final special attack is Vorkath's trickiest attack. He will distract you by shooting poison everywhere, and this poison will heal him when you walk in it but it's only going to do 9 or 10 damage to you, so you shouldn't worry too much about it. It's much better to walk through the poison and heal him a little bit than it is to die to the dragon fire and lose 100,000 coins. Stay moving, and if your character gets two tiles away from your end destination, then it's too late, you're gonna get hit. You have to keep queuing up new moves before your character gets close where you clicked. The best time to heal is during Vorkath's special attacks, because you can't damage him and you have a few moments to eat some food. Try to avoid eating food during his regular attacks unless you get below 40 health. This will allow you to kill him faster. This next clip will show you a full rotation. Pay attention. Some final tips for your Vorkath kill. Make sure to have a wide view of the entire field. When Vorkath spawns his minion, if you don't see where it landed, it'll kill you. So having visibility is very important. You should really educate yourself because every time you die, it will cost you 100,000 coins and that can stack up to a million really fast. That's it for this video. Best of luck with your Vorkath kills, and comment below and like this video if you liked it. Let me know if you want a tutorial about anything else, and I'll make it for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!